One potential on the horizon is uh, a new instrument called REDD, Reduced Emissions from Deforestation and Degradation, which is the discussion going on in the context of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change about how to bring the reduction of emissions from, from forests into the global climate regime. And under RED, uh, the idea is that finance from developed countries would be mobilized to help uh, compensate the costs of developing countries of conserving more forests than they otherwise would do. We're hopeful that these rev new revenue streams will provide incentives to change the economic calculation of keeping the trees in the ground rather than converting uh, the forest to another use. My own sense is that REDD provides um, the biggest opportunity in terms of political attention and financial support focused on tropical forests that we've had since the Rio Earth Summit in 1992. But over that, that period since, there's been a gradual erosion of attention to tropical forests. But again, within the last two years, that attention has exploded and REDD is what people have latched onto as a potential silver bullet to both address uh, the climate mitigation agenda, but also potentially um, some triple wins in terms of both biodiversity conservation and improvements in rural welfare. Um, certainly that potential is there, but there are also lots of reasons to be concerned about, in the first place, how difficult this is going to be because we've been working on trying to reduce forest uh, destruction and degradation for several decades and haven't had a very good success record, so there are reasons for that. But also because there's the potential for unintended negative consequences. Governance in the forestry sector tends to be pretty biased towards urban elites and, and the commercial sector at the expense of rural communities who are often the real stewards of, of forests. And so if the, the problems of forest governance and the sort of structural inequities about how the rights to exploit forests are, are allocated, there's a real danger that implementing REDD initiatives could actually make rural people worse off. And we really need uh, in the first instance, research uh, to illuminate what the problems are and what potential solutions might be. And then secondly, really uh, close monitoring of the initial generation of REDD um, demonstration activities so that we can identify uh, the need for course corrections if things start going wrong.